Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is first ever video in this channel. So I have to introduce myself. My name is Kanahiya Patil. Uh, I am a student of MSc second semester and the main purpose to make this channel is whatever I have knowledge about chemistry, I have to discuss with more people. So this is the one of the good platform to discuss with and try to learn new things and just uh, increase my knowledge. So that's why I make this channel and hope my notes and my efforts will be helpful for other also. So let's move the topic. The first topic is Auger Electron Spectroscopy is also referred to as AES. So what is the basic introduction of Auger Electron Spectroscopy? So basically Auger Electron Spectroscopy is a uh, is a one of the important topic of scattering spectroscopy and it is also very important for semester exam uh, and CSIR net exam point of view. Uh, we have to know about the basic concept of Auger Electron Spectroscopy. So basic introduction of Auger Electron Spectroscopy is Auger Electron Spectroscopy is a widely used technique to investigate the compositions of surface of solids. So basically uh, AES is a technique to investigate the compositions of surface of solid. Solid means a uh, sample. Uh, in auger electron spectroscopy, we only use the uh, solid form of sample. That's why here uh, it's solid. Uh, so first discover in 1923 by Lise Matner and later independently discover once again in 1925 by Pierre Auger. That's why its name Auger Electron Spectroscopy, the, na uh, the name from Pierre Auger. Okay, so now the uh, principle of Auger Electron Spectroscopy is very important. Uh, in this uh, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the principle point wise and also try to uh, explain the principle from diagram. So first point is a fine focus electron beam bombard the sample and eject an electron of the inner cell of atom. So basically this point is tell uh, electron about electron collision. So what is electron collision is uh, electromagnet. Uh, this is the atom and this is uh, this is atom and this is the uh, inner cell and this is electron. So basically electromagnetic radiation we use in auger electron spectroscopy process. So electromagnetic radiations when uh, bombard the electron of inner cell of atom. So uh, the electron will uh, so the electron will move out from there and the vacancy will be made. Uh, the vacancy will be made in there. So when this vacancy, when uh, when vac uh, so this vacancy must be refilled by an electron from the higher energy level. So basically the vacancy will be must refilled by the higher energy level electrons of higher energy level. Okay. When the, uh, when the higher energy electron will uh, fill the vacancy, what happened? Uh, when the higher energy electron fills the hole, the release of energy is transferred to an electron in an outer orbit. So basically, when this electron will fall down in this uh, hole, so what happened? The, uh, uh, the the energy, one one kind of energy also release that electron. So uh, the ele uh, the energy release. Uh, the energy is transferred from that electron, outer uh, outer cell electron. Uh, the main thing is that what happened uh, when electron will fill the hole, the electron also uh, uh, also releasing some energy. So that energy will uh, forward to this outer orbit electron. When uh, so what happened? Uh, the electron has uh, what happened after what happened when energy will come uh, when energy is uh, move from the uh, this uh, electron. So what happened? The electron has okay that electron. So. Uh, the, uh, that electron has sufficient energy to overcome the binding energy and the work function to be ejected with a characteristic kinetic energy. One, one kind of kinetic energy also work with that uh, electron. So what happened after? Uh, uh, so that all kind. Uh, so that energy uh, for for the reason of that energy, that electron will out from that atom. So that electron. Uh, which removed from that atom is called auger electron. Okay, the ejected electron is referred to as an auger electron. The auger process requires three el uh, electrons. Thus, we cannot detect hydrogen and helium, but can detect all other elements from lithium on up. So basically, what happened? Uh, three, uh, three, uh, the basically three electrons will required for this process. That's why we are not going to dis uh, detect it uh, hydrogen and helium from this process because uh, hydrogen has one electron and helium has two electrons. That's why we are not going to uh, 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 just um, detect that uh, that elements from that process. Okay, this is the main point. So this is the basic principle. I hope uh, you will be understand and. Um, 
now the main important one of the one of uh, important uh, point of that topic is uh, an emitted electron will have a kinetic energy emitted electron in the sense electron uh, auger electron is auger electron which removed from the atom is uh, has uh, uh, have a kinetic energy of uh, that kinetic energy will uh, just discuss uh, with uh, we can find out that kinetic energy from that uh, particular uh, formula is e kinetic equal to e core state minus e b minus e c so that is the important uh, uh, diagram also from that this is the uh, k cell is inner cell and this vacancy must be refilled as electromagnetic radiation bombarded with that electron and this is the l1 cell l2 l3 set for that diagram uh, the kinetic energy uh, formula is like that uh, uh, e kinetic equal to k minus l1 minus l2 3 so that is the main formula of kinetic energy okay so that's the important points of uh, auger electron spectroscopy important principle of that now instrumentation process uh, we are going to discuss so uh, while we are uh, when we are uh, going to discuss about instrumentation of this process we have to know about the essential components of that instrument uh, i think uh, um, the process of uh, i think the process of instrumentation is not very important we have to know only the essential components so that's why i am going to discuss the essential components of aes aes spectrometer are first is uhv environment uhv environment is very important in this instrumentation because uhv environment means uh, it's a uh, ultra high vacuum full form is ultra high vacuum in environment so when we are characterized by the uh, when we are going to characterize the ultraviolet high uh, sorry ultra high vacuum so uh, by um, uh, it's characterized by a pressure lower than 10 to the power minus 8 to 10 to the power minus 12 m bar and it is common in chemistry uh, is very important to science, uh, scientific research because experiment often require a chemically clean sample surface with the absence of any unwanted absor absorbance so that's why ultra uh, high vacuum environment is very important in this um, instrumentation second is electron gun electron gun is very important because electron gun is uh, uh, that uh, that just bombard the electromagnetic radiation in our target in our sample so uh, it is also very essential components electron gun and so, third is electron energy analyzer fourth is electron detector data recording processing and output system that's all are very essential components on this instrument and this is enough uh, to know about the instrumentation or of, uh, of that AES uh, because I think a process is not that much important for our semester examination and also for any competition examination um, and that is a diagram of uh, auger electron spectroscopy uh, instrumentation that have a target uh, electron gun sweep supply optical ion source sealed electron uh, electron detector data acquisitions and that's an important instrumentation diagram now we are going to discuss the application parts of that auger electron spectroscopy it is very important because application is uh, something which is uh, very useful for any topic when you get to know the application that it will be very helpful uh, to you in your examinations so what is the application of uh, aes first is surface sensitive when we are going to de uh, de uh, define the surface sensitive is like um, a surface sensitive technique is more sensitive to those atoms which are located near the surface than it is to atom in the bulk which are well away from the surface so basically this is the definition of surface sensitive and uh, second most important application is elemental and chemical composition analysis uh, analysis by uh, comparison with standard sample of known composition third important application is detection of elements heavier than lithium very good sensitive for light elements depth profiling analysis so what is depth profiling analysis one of the very important application of auger electron spectroscopy so depth profiling uh, is a process where the element or chemical content of a sample is measured as a function as a function of depth okay so many analysis technique that uh, uh, perform depth profiling use a beam of ions such as um, like a o2 plus and cs plus galenium and uh, this is the uh, kind of uh, depth profiling analysis so it is it is one of the important process uh, uh, for auger electron spectroscopy and fifth uh, uh, 
इंपॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन इज स्पेशल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट सेम सो बेसिकली सेम एंड ऑगर इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आर इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम टेक्निक बेस्ड ऑन द ऑगर इफेक्ट सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ऑगर इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो लिमिटेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर any topic so agar electron spectroscopy has uh, some limitations that is analyze conducting and semiconducting sample a special procedure are required for non conducting samples and only solid specimens can be analyzed so basically uh, con uh, conducting and semiconducting uh, Uh, samples will be all uh, will only analyze because uh, when we are going to uh, just um, analyze the non conducting sample it will be require a new procedure a special procedure which is very difficult so that's why this is the limitations and only solid specimen can be analyzed uh, in before i also uh, talked about that uh, solid specimens can be only uh, uh, analyzed by this process and quantification is not easy definitely it is uh, one of the important uh, uh, limitations for that uh, process and hydrogen and helium are not detectable as they have electron less than 3 okay so uh, yeah when uh, so hydrogen and helium are not uh, uh, yeah hydrogen and helium the elements are not um, we are not going to discuss the process of that by using the these elements because uh, uh, they have a one and two uh, two uh, electrons that's why it is not uh, uh, require it is not important for that process and the other elements uh, above the helium is very um, yeah that uh, that would be a very important for that process and that will be used for that process so that's are the basic limitations of that auger electron spectroscopy and that's uh, and this is the handmade notes i provide you and try to explain that i hope uh, that notes will be helpful for you and it is uh, and you understood what i try to uh, uh, under, uh, what i try to just tell you so i hope this notes will be help you helpful uh, for further video please uh, uh, connect with my channel and please support like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching